What's up guys, Eric here, and in today's video, I wanna talk about Arrow Season 5, specifically the latest trailer for uh, the episode titled Who Are You?, which is gonna be the premiere episode for the second half of the season at the end of January. Now the trailer's been out for a few days and I wanted to wait until it was out for a little while before I made my video. I know everybody else jumped on it immediately because that's what people do here on YouTube. But I always like to give people a chance to see something before I talk about it. But just in case you have not seen that trailer and you didn't even know it was out there, I'm gonna link it in my info box. You can go check it out. Um, if you don't wanna be spoiled about anything for this upcoming episode, because this trailer is super spoilery <laughs> for the episode, uh, then I would suggest to turn away now and come back and watch this video at a later date, okay? Um, otherwise, I'm gonna talk in detail about the some of the stuff in the trailer and I don't wanna spoil anything for anybody. So you've been warned, but let's just go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so if you've seen the trailer, the big reveal or the big thing for me in the trailer, because there's a lot of things that happen in the trailer, but the big thing for me is the reveal that Laurel Lance is not the Laurel that, uh, that we knew from the arrow that died. Okay. At least from what we can see in the trailer, that is what they are suggesting to us. And I do believe what they are trying to do or trying to show us here in this trailer is that it is the Laurel Lance from earth Two That is the black siren that we met on season two of the flash. And this really confuses me. First of all, I'm very confused that they did this spoilery reveal, you know, in a trailer for the episode. That's a little strange to me because I know everybody was going to tune in to, for that premiere to see who, which version of Laurel this was. And they just, they totally spoiled it. That's why I'm kind of like wondering, is this the earth Two black, black siren Laurel Lance? Because it seems like it's the most logical conclusion, but it's also really silly that they spoiled it in the trailer. Um, so here are some of my questions specifically about that, because we'll talk about the episode when we get closer to it and I do my rant and preview video. So this is specifically for the Laurel Lance stuff in that trailer because I feel like it was too much to put in the rant and preview. So here's my thing. If it is the Black Siren Laurel Lance from Earth 2, there's a lot of things they're going to have to reveal in this episode to allow us to understand how we reached this point, okay? We need to know her motivation, why she's there, how she would even know where Oliver's base is because are we supposed to assume that this updated base that, you know, happened on earth one was also a base that was used on earth two by the other green arrow, because I do believe, and I might have to double check this, that Oliver queen died on earth two and Robert queen was the green arrow. So there's a lot of things that make me wonder, like, how would she know this? Um, does she know because she was working with team flash, which is odd because, that just doesn't make any sense to me. So here's here's some of the big things that really bug me, right? If it is, uh, if Laurel Lance were to escape from Star Lab, say she escaped, that she got out somehow, don't you think the first people you would call to tell them what's going on is Team Arrow? I would think that that's the first phone call you would make <laughs> if she had left because you would assume that she would be going back to uh, somewhere that she's familiar with, which is not Central City, at least as far as we know. So you think that's who they would call, would be Team Arrow, right? Um, that is if she, is, if she actually escaped. Uh, the other thing is if she did escape because she was kept in that containment unit under Star Labs, how would someone without powers, we're gonna assume that it's someone from Arrow, uh, was able to sneak into Star Labs, free Laurel, in that system, which is only made to recognize handprints from people on Team Flash and to to get her out of there and get her back to, uh, you know, back around where she could go in and infiltrate, uh, you know, Team Arrow. Who could do that? Who would have the ability to do that? I mean, not only would you have to get into Star Labs, but you would have to get downstairs. You would have to hack into their computer systems you know, get past the recognition system, get her out of Star Labs without anybody even noticing. I find that really hard to believe. And people are going to be like, oh, it could be Prometheus, but come on. I mean, is really, you think Prometheus could do something like that? That's a little weird. Now, getting back to her working with Team Flash, playing the devil's advocate here, 
what if she was released because of good behavior? <laughs> you know, like she's been working with them and it leads up to her being released. But then that that sort of clashes with the idea that she's infiltrating <laughs> their, like in the trailer, she's like, you know, sort of relieved that they finally figured out who she is. What, what would her infiltration process be if she was released on good behavior? And wouldn't they still tell Team Arrow if she was there? I'm really kind of baffled that they didn't tell anybody on Team Arrow to begin with. I believe that, as far as I know, no one on Team Arrow knows that there's another Laurel Lance locked up at Star Labs. And we don't really even know anything about this version of Laurel Lance. If it is, in fact, Earth 2, Black Sire, and Laurel Lance, we don't really know anything about her from her Earth. We learned very little about her. We know she's a meta and that she actually has powers. But outside of that, we don't know very much about her. Um, so it's just a little strange. Okay. Um, so just going completely off on another tag tangent, if she isn't black siren, Laurel Lance from earth two, then who is she and where is she from? Because she does have the canary cry. So if she is a person mimicking, um, Laurel Lance, it would have to be someone who could also assume her powers. Don't think that's going to happen on arrow. Which means it legitimately has to be another version of Laurel Lance from another Earth. Which, again, only happens on Flash. Is this is this going to be a crossover episode? I'm really confused here. I'm really confused. I appreciate the mystery from, you know, from Arrow. I kind of wish they hadn't revealed this now. I, this is something I would have really loved to have been surprised by uh, on the episode. So, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it actually being Black Siren because there's a long list of possibilities of where the, you know, Laurel Lance could come from in the multiverse. But what do you guys think? If you've seen the trailer and you've seen, you know, what I've seen and what everybody else has seen, do you think this is the Black Siren Laurel Lance? Because I'm still not convinced because I think that's what they want us to think. And I'm hoping it's going to be a lot more clever writing than that. That's what I'm hoping for. Or do you think it's another Laurel from another Earth? You guys let me know down in the comments below what you think. And are you excited about the direction of Arrow right now? Are you excited about where the show is going and what we are seeing happen on uh, Arrow compared to season four? Um, if you're a fan of Olicity and you're a fan of Felicity or you're a fan of Thea, this probably isn't your favorite season. <laughs> We'll talk a little bit more about Thea in my rant and preview in a couple of weeks. Um, anyway, all right, guys, let me know down in the comments what you think about all of this uh, and any of your theories and speculations. All right, take care. Have a great day. Have a great week, and I will catch you guys later.